Gig Account is here. My name is Nas. I'm a licensed CPA in the state of New Jersey. I'm also a gig economy worker working on food delivery platforms such as Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Postmates. Referral links are in the description box down below if you are interested in signing up for any one of those apps. So today I just received a new update that has been been rolled out for Grubhub. And I've seen a lot of folks out there complaining that uh, with this update, there has been an accompanying decrease in the pay that they have been receiving. Uh, so far, I haven't noticed any decrease in my pay. My pay is the service fee. The initial fee is still the same at $4. I'm still earning $0.50 cents per mile. And in addition to that, something that I noticed today, I don't know, maybe I missed this before, but something that I noticed today is that a lot of my uh, no tip orders or my low tip orders are receiving bonus pays as high as three dollars and twenty five cents or something that something to that level, and that's really amazing. I, I don't know, like maybe it's just me, maybe it's just today and it was a one off day, but it seems like with this update the algorithm has been improved and. The pay overall has been improved with these three dollars and twenty five cents or whatever bonus pay that is being added on to it. Um, hopefully, it's not the case where I will am waiting for the change for the service fee, the four dollars service fee, to be decreased or the mileage pay, the uh, which is currently at fifty cents, to be decreased. Hopefully, that's not going to be rolled rolled out to my region, to my market, and what I am earning now uh, is going to persist. But so far, it looks like I'm getting paid better right now. And I'm located in the Central Jersey area outside of New York City. So assuming that this is the case um, where my pay is not going to be uh, being changed, uh, I'm, I'm, so far I'm happy with the change. Uh, hopefully it stays that way. But from what I've seen, I was seeing on the driver reddits, other folks were complaining that they used to make uh, that were located out in San Diego area that they were make, earning thirty to forty dollars an hour, which kind of blew my mind that they're earning that much money. Thirty to forty dollars is not chump change. That is good pay, and actually, honestly, for uh, this type of job, I think it, that's too much to be a consistent thing where you're consistently able to earn thirty forty dollars. I think to be earning that much, you had to be seriously cherry picking uh, your orders, and. To me, I think it's a good thing that Grubhub is kind of getting on that and they're trying to tackle that problem where cherry pickers were earning are earning more than premier drivers, pro drivers, drivers that are earning though that are taking all, all the orders that Grubhub needs to be done. So in my mind, it's a good thing that Grubhub is doing that because it really didn't make sense that cherry pickers who were kind of abusing the system. Um, and nothing against cherry pickers. I think that intelligent cherry picking. I'm all. I'm in favor of cher intelligent cherry picking. Uh, if an order takes you 25 miles out for four dollars, definitely don't do it. I recommend against it. Highly recommend against it. But the cereal cherry picking is something that Grubhub really needed to get on uh, get rid of. They needed to really ha resolve that issue because the cherry pickers were taking on, taking up all the good orders and what was left for the folks who were actually taking all the orders who were on block, they were the trash that nobody else wanted. And the 30, $13 uh, an hour guarantee, which is $13 in my market, yeah, that's nice, but it still wasn't great. And, you know, they grab up and needed to get behind that and get get that done. I'll get that resolved. But yeah, I saw folks complaining that they were no longer earning thirty to forty dollars in San Diego. Uh, what well, presumably um, through cherry picking, and they, now they're earning twenty twenty five dollars an hour. And twenty, don't get me wrong, twenty to twenty five dollars an hour is great pay. I'm not sure why they're complaining about twenty to twenty five dollars for a job as simple as this that is consists of. Driving point A, driving to point B, listening to your podcast, what have you. Twenty to twenty-five dollars is solid pay, and honestly, I work in the greater New York City area, so I work outside of New York City, and my average pay is fifteen to twenty dollars an hour, and and it goes up to maybe twenty to twenty-five dollars an hour in some of the good days. Today was a good day, 
So hopefully it stays that way. But if this was consistently how it was, where folks out in San Diego who were cherry picking were owning, earning thirty to forty dollars an hour, whereas um, out here where we have equivalent uh, cost of living, maybe greater even, uh, and I'm earning fifteen to twenty dollars an hour, there was a real dichotomy there, a contrast that needed to be resolved, that needed to be fixed. Why is San Diego drivers earning thirty to forty dollars an hour? Whereas New York City drivers are earning fifteen to twenty dollars an hour, it doesn't make any sense. The cost of living is equivalent, maybe greater in certain parts of, of New York City. Midtown, uh, an apartment so, studio apartment in Midtown uh, Manhattan will run you four thousand dollars a month, which is insane. Even here, where I live right now, which is one to two hours outside of New York City, a decent two bedroom apartment will run you over two grand a month. So, if what Grubhub did was to try to normalize the pay for cost um the densely populated areas, high volume, high traffic areas where which were generating high volume of uh, orders and try to normalize that the pay pay that was being uh, remitted to drivers. I think that is a good thing. I think that is a positive because it is going to correspond with the co cost of living as well or you would expect it to. So, so far, I'm happy with my pay, but that is qualifying whether or not I my market is pending a decrease in pay. Um, so far, I haven't received that. I received the rollout of the new updated uh, app. Uh, I like the, the user interface has been changed a little bit. It just looks a little bit more sleeker in my opinion. And so far, so good. I have no complaints about it. But we'll wait and see and see what happens and what are the future developments over the course of the next few days, next few weeks, next few months. And I'll keep you guys posted on that. All right, that, so that's all I got to say. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm a licensed CPA. I offer accounting services, tax preparation, planning, and consulting work. Uh, my rates are subject to change at my own discretion, but I'm currently charging $100 per hour. So if you're in need of any of that, feel free to engage me regarding that. That's all I have to say about this. So you guys, be safe out there. Enjoy your, the rest of your day and happy hustling. Peace, guys.